What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through a full body warm up routine. This is a 10 minute routine that is great before any workout, whether you're doing a strength training workout, whether you're going for a run, you're doing some hit, you're jumping rope, whatever you're looking to do, this is a quick and simple routine that's going to get your entire body ready, prepared, primed for what you're gonna do the workout. All you will need for today's warm up is yourself, your body, a bit of room to move around, and that is it. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up and let's get into it. Getting into our starting position, we're gonna be starting with an inchworm, so make sure you have some room in front of you. We're gonna be walking it out. Otherwise, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Bending forward, walking out with the hands until we reach a full plank position like that. Brace through the core, hold for a sec. Walk it on back and keep doing that as we go through this interval. seconds. All right, next up we're going to do a variation of the inchworm. So stand it up. What we're going to be doing this time is when we get into that lower plank position, so walk it out with me until we get here. What we're going to do is instead of holding the plank, dip it down to a cobra. Feel that nice stretch through the hip flexors, through the back, through the low back, mid back, upper back, and shoulders. Lengthen through the neck and tuck those toes under. Come back to a plank and walk it up. We're gonna repeat that. Spend however long you need in each position. This is your warm up. This is getting ready for your workout. So make it work for you. All right, we're doing another variation of the inchworm. I know your shoulders are already burning. So we're gonna walk it out. Same as last time, we're gonna build off of what we've been doing. Plank, drop to cobra. From here, what I want you to do is once you're comfy in that cobra position, visualize tapping your bum, tapping your bum, put it back down, reverse the motion. Again, spending however long you need in each position. If that's happened, the bum's feeling really good on your hip flexors, really good on your hip, spend a little longer there. It's okay, we got just 10 seconds left. Walk it back up. Whew. What we're gonna do from here is let's walk it down. We're gonna be doing a little bit of floor exercises and floor stretches. So just gently lay yourself down on the ground. From here, we're going to do a line chest opener. So starting by putting the right arm out to the side, using the left arm to press into the ground. Reach for that left leg up and over. Feel that stretch through your chest, through your shoulder, maybe a little bit through your back. Bring it back, repeat in the other direction. So left arm out to the side, right arm in. Roll it on over, you have about 10 seconds. You might get a little back crack, I just did. And bring it back. And from here, we're going to flow into our next exercise, which is going to be snow angel, okay? So we're going to start with your arms out to 90 degrees. We're going to lift, extend, bring it back, put it down. Lift, extend, bring it back, put it down. Just like that. All right, we're going to walk it back up with our inchworm. Bring it to a hands and knees plank for me, getting into this position. From here, what I want you to do is rock it back, stir like this, 
From here, press into a down dog. So lift those hips up to the ceiling. All we're gonna do for this exercise is go down, up, down, up. Aiming to touch the ground with your knees. Feeling a stretch in the toe and foot down here. And feeling a stretch through a bit of the backs of your shoulders, a bit through your hamstrings and calves, okay? It's a total body stretch. Again, spending however long you need in each position to feel this right. And here what I want you to do is walk it on up. Give yourself a quick little shake. I know your shoulders are probably getting tired. From here what we're gonna do is bring it back into that down dog position. So we're going to be here again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a walk the dog. So that means I'm bending one leg, straightening one leg, bending one leg, straightening one leg, keeping both legs bent, arm circle, arm circle. If the arm circle is too tough, just leave that out for now. It's okay, don't worry about it. Give me a couple more. Right, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to step through into a high lunge with the right leg. So all I want you to do is bring those knees back up, maybe scoot your hands forward a little bit, and step through that right leg until we get into that nice high lunge position. From here, what we're going to do is keeping your hands on either side of the foot, we're going to press back to straighten it, feeling that in the hamstring. If you can't go all the way straight, don't worry, okay? Stay within your range, make this work for you just rock back and forth with me. Okay, next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate between a high and a low lunge. So keeping that right foot in front, keeping your hands planted, you're gonna go from high lunge to low lunge. You're gonna feel that stretch and that back hip flexor deepen as we drop into low lunge. Just take it slow, don't rush anything, don't bounce anything. Feel that stretch in your hip flexor. Ten seconds. Here what we're gonna do is staying in that low lunge position. So back knee on the ground, front leg exactly where it's at. And what you do is bring this arm over here inside your foot. And we're going to rotate open. Feeling a nice stretch a bit through the back, a bit through the shoulder, a bit through the chest, as well as through the groin of the right leg. All right, so open it up, bring it down, open it up, bring it down. A nice gentle stretch through the entire body on this one. Okay, what we're gonna do is bring that right leg around back. We're gonna bring the left leg through into that high lunge again. We're gonna repeat what we did there, that nice little lunge sequence. So up into high lunge, we're gonna be alternating between high lunge and straightening that leg for a hamstring stretch. If you can't quite straighten it yet, don't worry. We will get there. You just gotta keep at it. Ten seconds. All right, now we're gonna alternate between the high lunge and the low lunge. Remember, as much as we wanna feel the stretch, we're not spending too long in any one position. Keep it dynamic, or keep it moving. We're not stretching anything to the point of pain here. Just keep alternating with me between that high lunge and the low lunge. Like that, I want 
want you to take that outside arm, bring it to the inside. From here, we're gonna do from our low lunges, we're gonna open it up to the ceiling, feeling this stretch through our entire body. All right, so open it up. Woo, got a little wobbly. Bring it back down, <clears throat> adjusting if you need to. Open it up, feeling that nice stretch through the groin of the left leg. Bring it back. few more of these and then we'll be all done our warm up for today. And like that, you are warmed up. We're warmed up. We're ready to work out. We're ready to conquer whatever we got going on for the rest of the day. I've got plenty more workouts on my channel for whatever you're looking for, whether it's something that's more corrective exercise, strength building, balance building, muscle building, whatever you're looking for, we got it, all right? I love working out with you. I always love working out with you, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you in the next video.